All right, good morning, guys. Today is the first day on a rather large project. We're gonna be here a couple weeks, a couple months total, but first phase of it's gonna be a couple weeks. We got Johnny in the background on a John Deere 130 that we have rented, and we have my SY80 down here too. So uh, I'm gonna turn the camera around and show y'all what we're working on today. All right, so uh, this is two lots. Gonna be two different homes built here. Uh, this is pretty steep right here, so we're not going to try to go straight up it. They want to save that big hickory So pretty much right through that cedar tree We're going to take it out and have the driveway cut in and go up the side of this hill uh, So that's where I'm going to start start getting this cleaned up get this fence tore out and try to get that driveway entrance started and Then uh, while I'm doing that We've got Johnny right up here And he's working on the second entrance with this 130. So what he's working on is getting all like that big dead tree down. I'm gonna take out those trees there and uh, gonna cross this ditch and the next driveway is gonna go on the right side of this property line and head up the hill right there. So that's what we're doing. We're gonna get started.
I've never given a whole lot of thought to. But uh, you, you see a lot of people on Facebook criticizing others for doing it. But you're not supposedly you're not supposed to dig over your track motors, which makes sense. But it would add some wear and tear. Uh, at the same time, I feel like they should be designed to withstand withstand that. So um, I don't think it's a bad idea to try to avoid it. I'm not going to freak out and uh, try to do it 100% of the time, um, especially with like light grading and stuff, but like heavy digging where you're really fighting the ground. Um, I can see how it kind of makes sense. Extra wear and tear that's not necessary. So when I can, it's not too much trouble. I'm willing to, you know, try to avoid that.
got sold and uh, I think uh, somebody died, you know, and they busted up this big, nice 200 acre farm into a bunch of tracks. So locals get upset about that kind of stuff. And I hate seeing it too, but uh, I don't feel like I have the right to say anything about it. It's not my property. I think that if somebody's got a problem with it, they should man up and buy the land. And uh, unfortunately, most people don't see it that way. They, One think, they think they should stop and uh, bitch about it to everybody else. So uh, that's really all, all I think that that guy was trying to do. Johnny's here with the other machine. He's going to pull this tree out of our way. trees cleared and kind of the path right here where we're wanting to go uh, so what I'm gonna do now is just kind of start stripping this topsoil off of the area that's gonna be the driveway and I'm sitting really crooked right now but I think we're gonna get into some rock here unfortunately I'm gonna dig easy here because it's 
so this the, the main water line has not been run up this road yet um, just got off the phone with the water department a few minutes ago I might have some more stuff for us uh, uh, some land cleared up on Dane Hill uh, it ain't bad it was just a field that honestly would probably be a bush hog and take your zany up there and uh, reshape it up for a, for a pad it used to be a double wide sitting there that was Johnny on the radio. That's one thing about Johnny is he likes talking on them radios. He definitely uh, makes the day go by. When we worked at another company together, uh, we had a big time talking on the radios. But uh, he was just talking about another job lead that I guess he got for us. And then I just had a, a very big phone call a minute ago uh, that was kind of random, and it was uh, about bidding on a job that's actually for a local Corps of Engineers park, so should have plans for that in a few weeks and get the opportunity to bid on that. That could be kind of big for us. But um, anyway, what I was saying about the water department is I got off the phone with them. They don't have any lines up through here, but they said there is a private line that comes um, up the road if you look at the corner of my bucket. There's a fork in the road right there and there's a meter out there and it runs up this main road but it's a private line so there's no way to locate it it's just it's here somewhere and hopefully we don't hit it that's kind of the deal but as johnny says if it's there we'll find it so hopefully he's wrong today I'm definitely i'm expecting it's going to be real close to the road so i'm not gonna not gonna cut much down there I know the water department, um, they're going to extend their main line from down that area up here to catch these two houses that we're prepping for. Um, he said they're probably going to be out here tomorrow and start working on that. He was kind of dreading knowing that he had to contend with that line. kind of an awkward situation here. There's not room to do much. I wouldn't want to bring a skid steer in on this uh, this nasty hillside. Just be begging to mess a track up. So uh, it's going to be a little slow getting started here. I'm going to strip the top sole and just tote it up here to the, the top and drag as much of it as I can back with me. Go ahead and get these uh, these weeds and stuff out of the way. stripped off here and this is still pretty steep this way it don't look it in the video but we're gonna cut out of the upper side of this bank and build this lower side and try to make this as smooth and gradual as we can coming down this road this right here is where it's gonna get tough because this knob kind of falls off hard and it might be a job getting that to uh getting that to work out right there but what it looks like right now 
and that's kind of the path we're taking going up there and just going to ease around and head on up the hill all right guys that's going to be the end of this one um i got a little bit carried away working and didn't do a whole lot of filming but this is how the road shaped up at the end of this first day uh, y'all stay tuned and we'll be posting the second day on this job very soon where we take the road a little further up the hill and try to work out some drainage issues.